Today is the feast of Saint Rose of Lima. They consecrated herself to Christ and great love of her neighbor. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, peace be with you. We acknowledge our sins. We acknowledge the compassion, the mercy, and the love of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and lead us into life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who sent St. Rose of Lima on fire with your love, so that secluded from the world in the austerity of a life of penance, she might give herself to you alone. Grant, we pray, that through her intercession we may tread the paths of life on earth and drink at the stream of your delights in heaven. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. If anyone wants to boast, let him boast of the Lord. It is not the man who commends himself that can be accepted, but the man who is commended by the Lord. If only wish you were able to tolerate little foolishness from me, but of course you are tolerant towards me. You see, the jealousy that I feel for you is God's own jealousy. I arrange for you to marry Christ, so that I might give you away the chaste virgin to this one husband. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Young men and women praise the name of the Lord. Young men and women praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord from heavens. Praise him in his hearts. Praise him all his angels. Praise him all his hosts. Young men and women praise the Lord. All earth's kings and peoples, earth's princes and rulers, young men and maidens, all men together with children. Young men and women, and women praise, praise the name of the Lord. Lord. Let them praise the name of the Lord. He alone is exalted. The splendor of his name reaches beyond heaven and earth. Young men, men and women, women praise, praise the name of the Lord. Lord. He exalts the strength of his people. He is the praise of all his saints, of the sons of Israel, of the people to whom he comes close. Young, Young men and women, women praise the name, the name of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia. Remain in my love, says the Lord. Whoever lives in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. With your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, the kingdom of heaven is like treasure hidden in a field which someone has found. He hides it again, goes off happy, sells everything he owns and buys the field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant looking for fine pearls. When he finds one of great value, he goes and sells everything he owns and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The foundation of everything is our relationship with God. Saint Rose and all the saints remind us that our priority is to be in tune with God. And when we are in tune, the more we are in tune with God, the more we are in tune with the rest of reality because God is the source of reality. So the gospel, the lives of the saints remind us to keep coming back to our priorities and not to allow ourselves to get sidetracked. When we get self-preoccupied, when we worry too much about ourselves and me and myself and 
our death, et cetera, et cetera, we lose the plot. The more we are centered on the mystery of life, the more free we become, more authentic we become. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For to your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of divine work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Let us pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God our Almighty Father. And Lord, as if you have the hands of the praise and glory of his name, by good and good of our cause for this church. As we proclaim your wonders, O Lord, in the Virgins, Lima, St. Rose of Lima, we humbly implore you that as her merits, as her merits are pleasing to you, so too our dutiful service may find favor in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, much more than a duty, and good for our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, and Eternal God. For in the saints who consecrated themselves to Christ for the sake of the kingdom of heaven, it is right to celebrate the wonders of your providence by which you call human nature back to its original holiness and bring it to experience on this earth the gifts you promise in the new world to come. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim Holy, 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 Holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven and, and earth are God full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the you fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial <coughs> of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that by taking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, me, the unworthy servant, Eugene, our emeritus bishop, all the clergy who serve your people and your entire family. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. And all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, 
we may to your grace merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. The Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. The kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, we said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity, in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. With your spirit. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you all. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Renew by partaking of this divine gift. We pray, O Lord our God, that by the example of the Blessed Rose, bearing in your body the death of Jesus, we may strive to hold fast to you alone. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Spirit. And may the peace and the blessing of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain always with you. Amen. Let us go and live the gospel. Thanks be to God. God bless your day.